Alright guys, today we are going to go over my rod and reel arsenal for trout fishing. Um, I have here, it's a Eagle Claw uh, ice fishing rod with a uh, 2500 series Shimano quick fire reel. Um, I bought the rod last year about this time to uh, attempt ice fishing for this winter and of course after I do that we no longer get uh, cold enough weather to create safe ice, so I have yet to try it. Um, I've never gone ice fishing. I was hoping to make a video of it, but maybe next year. Um, yeah, um, I might use it for you know a challenge video, ice fishing rod challenge, something like that. I don't know, but uh, so there's the first one. All right, now number two is a uh, Shakespeare Citrus or Citrus by or Citrus Circus by Shakespeare blah, blah, blah. and uh, it's just a little cheapo combo kit um, I got it probably I don't know 17 years ago something like that crazy uh, since I was a little kid and uh, it's been a really good rod and reel combo um, I more use it now to loan to people they don't have anything you know going out um, it's held up pretty well. I mean, it's got some scrapes, some scratches. Uh, not every time you flip it does it, you know, come back. It's you know, got a little dirt pride in bearing. You like probably clean the bearings up. But uh, it's a four, four nine to one ratio. I don't know. Just been a pretty good, good rod and reel combo there. Um, then we will go to this one that a lot of you guys probably recognize that have seen the uh, fishing on the budget or fishing on the cheap video. This was the uh, rod reel combo that I got at Walmart for, I think it was like 19 bucks. And uh, I've, I've yet to use it. I let a friend use it a couple days ago. And as I thought, the line on it is garbage. So I am going to be putting the new line on it that I bought. But uh, I guess that's a little uh, sneak peek on, on that next video. But yeah, just, you know, I don't know. Really don't know what to say too much about that one yet. I haven't used it. And then I have what would be my, uh, I guess you'd call it, you know, my main my main rod and reel setup here. It's a uh, four foot eight uh, ugly stick by Shakespeare. Um, this I've had for, you know, probably 15 years, 14 years, something like that. And uh, been a great rod. Never had any problems with it. I feel for the price, you cannot beat these. It's a four foot eight ultralight. I don't know if I said that part already. And then uh, last year I purchased the Spherix 2500RG. Uh, it's got the quick fire, it's got a double crank handle on it, it's got the uh, micro drag adjustment, uh, five ball bearings, I believe it's six two to one ratio. Um, it's got the quick release spool, uh, very nice all around reel here. Um, I like it very much. And, uh, let's see here, oh, that's the ceiling. Then let's see how to do this one here. This is something I also purchased last year. So if you guys can't tell, last year I decided to try some new stuff. This is a uh, Fruger, th Fruger, Fluger uh, fly rod. It is a eight foot, um, I really don't know what else any of this stuff here means. It says made in China. And, uh, And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'm gonna get to try out some fly fishing this year. I've always wanted to try it. I hear it's, you know, probably one of the best ways to fish, get most connected with the fish. So look out for some videos on that. But that's pretty much it. Like always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day.